Hannah Fosline, Getty Images Minneapolis, Minnesota, August 24, Georgia Loga. Photo by Hannah Fosline, Getty Images, Brian Broaddus, DallasCowboys.com writer and former NFL personnel man, joined the G-Bag Nation on 105.3 The Fan, KRLDFM, on Monday to talk all things Dallas Cowboys. Here are some of the highlights, listen to it in full here, question, Georgia Loga. With him, Jeff Heath and Kevin Frazier, do you think he's the favorite to be the strong safety? Brian brought us, I think that what they're trying to do is, will McClay trying to protect himself at the safety spot? If a safety was there at 58 I think that they would surely consider making that type of move. There's plenty of those guys. I think going in Jeff Heath will continue to be the starter as they go into the OTAs and minicamps and stuff like that. We'll see where Aloka kinda fits in. He's more of a down guy. He's a really good tackler. You don't want him to play in space. You don't want him to have to play much coverage. But, yeah, he kind of fits into that role of a guy that will allow you to play Xavier Woods back. This is a team. We talk about the draft, I clearly know there's some interest in Juan Thornhill, Chauncey Gardner-Johnson, Taylor Rapp and Kari Willis. I think that there's some interest in those guys, in the draft, keep an eye on that. If they go that route with one of those guys that I just mentioned then you'll see some serious competition at that spot. Question, how well or not well did Aloka play in Minnesota? Brian brought us, well, he played three games as a starter for Andrew Sandejo, who was injured at the time. He was a rotational guy there. Mike Zimmer had him on the field as a starter then they would rotate guys through. He played well enough to when the ball was underneath the things when he was down, the tackles, recognitions of the screens, and him getting there, he was always a rep-up tackler, and, he was always a pretty physical guy. But in the New Orleans game he got exposed. They ran a route down the middle of the field which went vertical on him and he just couldn't turn and go and get it. That's gonna be an issue right there. You're not gonna get a quick-footed guy. You're getting a big guy, like I said, can play down. The contract is not so taxing that if something were to become available, through the draft or Kevin Frazier decided to play better or Jeff Heath played better or any one of those guys played better, they can move on from George if they have to depending on if they bring in a guy at a high enough draft spot and that guy plays well. Related, film room, here's what Aloka brings to the Dallas defense question, those safeties that you're talking about if the Cowboys get there at 58, what is your dream order of guys available? Ryan brought us, we were trying to figure out on the draft show what player would be there at 58. We were trying to figure out though, if Rap in fact would be there. We kind of felt like Rap, Jonathan, Abram from Mississippi State would be guys that would not get out of the top 40. Maybe, 45 might be the spot where they finally stopped Deontay, Thompson, the safety from Alabama, was a guy we mentioned there. He started off as being a guy that everybody really thought was gonna be the top safety in this draft. As the season wore on it kind of fell apart for him a little bit. He's gonna be a name. Thornhill was a guy the first mentioned to keep an eye on the 30 visit list. If he in fact is on that, Juan Thornhill from Virginia, I think he'll be really, really close on him. Gardner Johnson is another one that I mentioned from Miami. I think he would be there at 58 when they selected. Darnell Savage from Maryland is another kid that I really, really liked myself. I had all of those guys in that second, third round range. Clearly the want would be rap if you could give me a safety of all of those guys that I mentioned. Keep an eye on this 30 visit list potentially if you see the names Thornhill, Gardner Johnson, Rap, Kari Willis again from Michigan State. Maybe hearing a little buzz about him. Question, what do they have left to do before the draft? I'd only see one spot where I think, hey. They're not really ready to play the season yet, and for me that's running back. Brian brought us, well I think they're looking at defensive tackles though, too. 
Again, the 30 visit list will come out and I guarantee you that Bobby Belt from the NFL Network has done a really nice job tracking those names for you. They don't hand me the list but I kind of follow along what he's doing and I think he's up to date on everything. Defensive tackle would clearly be a spot that I feel like they're gonna look at. Running back stretches pretty deep. You got the compensatory for 